Hey there YouTube. In this little tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a port forward on a Windstream router. Now of course Windstream is not the best type of router you can get but for some people it's all we've got. So first you want to open a command window a command, and do, you do that by pressing the Windows key and R and it'll open your run window. And all you have to do is type CMD and hit enter and it'll open this command prompt. After you've done that, you type in, you, type, you either type in ipconfig, but for some people that doesn't work because the paths on their computer have been messed up, because I have to type in cd percent system root, another percent, and then a slash, and then type in system 32. And then after you've done that, you've noticed that it changed from queen of spades to system 32. And then you just type in ipconfig, and it opens all this information that you'll need. Okay, what you want to do is in this little area here, you're going to look at the default gateway, and you're going to go to your internet browser, and you'll type it in. Get on dirty, right there. Okay. And for the wind stream. The default is admin for the username and admin for the password. Okay, first you want to go to device info and then DHCP and it opens this little window and it shows you all the connected devices to your router. And this one's mine, right here. And so you want to look at the IP address and mine ends with a 7. It's just like the default gateway, except the last digits have changed into the setup. Then you'll want to go to Advanced Setup, and you'll want to hit NAT or NAT. And I have a Minecraft server, but I'll show you how this works. You hit Add, and the, this is just the default. You can't change that. But this one, it has many many games that you can connect to it and other programs. But you want to hit custom service if your game's not in here. And I'll just type in another Minecraft server. Now I'll assume that you'll know how to set up your own port forward for whatever game you're playing. But for mine, this is what it's going to be. And your external port, if you say you're wanting to set up a Minecraft server, the default is 25565. And then you just do that over here. And two, five, five, six, five. And you'll need the TCP UDP for a Minecraft one. And you just hit apply save. And I'll have another one. See this one, because the last digit has changed, it's because I have two Minecraft servers. One is on a 1.5.2, and this one uh, now I have one on 1.7.4. But yeah. Anyways, that's how it works. I hope you found that helpful. Oh, and yeah, the IP4 address, that's also your address that's connected to the router. Then you have a personal address, but you don't need that for anything. Okay. Hope you found that helpful.